hypertension, aka high blood pressure. What is hypertension? Hypertension is a common condition in which the force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause problems such as heart disease or stroke. Hypertension can be reduced. This is Joe. Joe is at a risk for primary hypertension, which affects 90 to 95% of the people who have hypertension. There is no identifiable cause and it is gradual. Things that contribute are high salt intake and an unhealthy diet, not exercising and obesity, alcohol and tobacco use, and if Joe is very stressed out. Secondary hypertension is a side effect of many medications. It comes on suddenly and things that contribute are birth control, kidney problems, illegal drugs, and countless other drugs. The normal heart is affected by both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic divisions of the autonomic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is activated in times of stress on the body. The neurotransmitter norepinephrine is activated in the second synapse. It attaches onto the beta-1 receptor and the effect is excitatory. The result of this effect is increased heart rate, force of contraction, and blood pressure. A common treatment for hypertension caused by high levels of stress and overstimulation of the sympathetic division of the nervous system are beta blockers. In our diagram, the blue squares represent beta-1 receptors. As you can see, there are red dots attached to them. These represent beta blockers in drugs for treating hypertension. The green dots are representing norepinephrine in the body, which cannot attach to the receptors, therefore causing the sympathetic nervous system to not be activated at this time. The blood vessels are affected only by the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system and not the parasympathetic. This works when norepinephrine is activated at the second synapse. It binds onto the alpha-1 receptor and the effect is excitatory. This causes blood vessels to contract and therefore constrict and blood pressure increases. High blood pressure can damage inner lining of cells. Fat from your diet enters through the bloodstream, passing through damaged cells and begins to collect. This causes changes and blocks blood flow and is the main cause of primary hypertension. Risk factors that contribute to hypertension are being 45 or older. Hi, Grandma! If you're a male. Hypertension can be genetic. Mom! Obesity. High levels of stress over a prolonged time. Homeostasis, proteins, and cell membrane. Proteins play a large role in hypertension as shown by how renin and angiotensinogen work in the kidneys for salt retention. When blood pressure falls, the kidneys release the enzyme renin into the bloodstream as shown at number one. Number two, renin splits angiotensinogen, a large protein that circulates in the bloodstream, into pieces. One piece is angiotensin 1. Number three, angiotensin 1, which is relatively inactive, is split into pieces by angiotensin converting enzyme. One piece is angiotensin 2, a hormone, which is very active. Four, Angiotensin II causes the muscular walls of small arteries to constrict, increasing blood pressure. Angiotensin II also triggers the release of the hormone aldosterone from the adrenal glands and antidiuretic hormone from the pituitary gland. With more sodium in the extracellular fluid, this means water through osmosis will go towards the area with a higher sodium concentration, thus increasing blood volume a contributing factor in hypertension. Homeostasis. In a person with hypertension, high amounts of sodium are retained. This causes high blood volume and therefore high cardiac output, which results in hypertension. Along with diuretics, your doctor will generally recommend an additional drug such as ACE inhibitors, which widen blood vessels, angiotensin II receptor blockers, beta blockers, and renin inhibitors. 
Summary of the key concepts. First is cell membrane. The cell membrane contains embedded receptors which are proteins, alpha-1 and beta-1. These are located in the heart and blood vessels. Proteins that affect hypertension are renin, which is released by the kidneys, which activates angiotensinogen, which splits into angiotensin 1 and 2 to release aldosterone into the bloodstream. Homeostasis in the body is maintained through the renin cycle, which affects salt retention and therefore blood volume. To maintain homeostasis, plaque buildup in the blood vessels also needs to be regulated. In summary, hypertension means high blood pressure. High blood pressure means that the force of your blood hitting the sides of your vessels is higher than normal. Lifestyle choices are directly linked to hypertension. The end.